Right, hello there. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, this is back in the oh, late 90s, maybe 98, 99, something like that. And the area of Scotland I'm from, a small town called Grangemouth, where I lived, uh, it's right on the River Forth. And if you go um, upstream, you get to this town called Kincardine. And I was at, uh, I was getting picked up from uh, Larbert, which is a small town. And when you come out of Larbert, you drive up over the motorway. And the road comes down, and then there's like a four way. It's a big roundabout. So you can go right towards Grangemouth, straight ahead over the King Carden Bridge. Uh, you can go this, uh, to the left, it takes you to air. And you're coming from the larboard direction. And it's about 10 30, maybe 11 o'clock at night. And when you're coming down that hill towards that big roundabout, that big four four way stop, uh, four way direction area, um, you can see the River Forth and you can see the, the Forth Road Bridge. Uh, sorry, not the Forth Road Bridge, but the Kincardine Bridge. And way downstream, you can get the Forth Road Bridge and the Forth Rail Bridge. And on the other side is of the River Forth is a small town of Kincardine and in the back of that there's a, a bunch of hills and forests and a beautiful area and I'm in the car my mum's driving and we're coming down the hill and we're just can and on the opposite side of the river where the hills were you could see a light above one of the hills and I'm thinking it was one of those towers that has the, and it's got a light to show small aircraft and things like that so as we're talking the light just goes straight up through the clouds and you can see it pass through the cloud and me and my mum stopped talking and I can't remember if she asked me or if I asked her but it was at the same time did you see that and she asked the same thing and it's like our words overlapped and neither of us could figure out what it was because aircraft don't do stand still just in the air motionless and then just straight up and I mean there was some clouds but to see it go through the clouds that was uh, it was very fast but you could see it like come through in between the clouds you could see it and to this day I still don't know what it was and it, it does fall into the category of an unidentified flying object um, I don't know if it was a craft from another planet I don't know if it was military I don't I don't know what it was it was the late 90s so um, civilians didn't really have drones or things like that back then and even then the distance uh, it's got to be about three or four miles at least from where we were to where the hills were on the other side of the river maybe even five miles and it was high up above so I don't think a light from even if it was a drone I don't think a light from it would have been visible at that distance um, but yeah I, I can't explain what it was I don't know what it was um, I don't know if anyone else saw it and back in those days we didn't have cell phones with um, cameras or digital cameras with a different era back then but yeah I'm not sure to this day what I saw other than I saw a light and I saw the light uh, vertical ascent very very quickly um, from a standstill position to um, and I've had other encounters where I've seen things in the sky and um, I remember one time in Georgetown which is in Texas where I live uh, well I live in Austin but I used to live in Georgetown and it would be about 1.30 almost 2 o'clock in the morning because I had a job at the university Southwestern University and I, I finished around about 1.30 in the morning and I'm going home 
and I look up into the sky and I see a black triangle which is darker than the sky and it's moving in the same direction I'm moving uh, it was quite high up but it, it, as it was moving it was blocking out the sky and the clouds and stars behind it and that's how I was able to figure out the shape of it it wasn't traveling fast it was just from the ground looking up that's about the speed it was moving at um, so I've seen I've seen some things in the sky that I can't explain. Uh, there's probably a rational explanation for it. I don't know. Um, but when you see things like that, it, it definitely does stick with you and it stays with you forever, basically. Because you're seeing something that's not normal, it's not rational to your mind at that moment, that you're seeing something that's, that, that shouldn't be there and it shouldn't be doing what it's doing. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a look around on the channel. I'm sure there's other things that might interest you. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. There's no pressure. You don't. You don't have to. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. Peace. Talk to you later.